In this video we're going to show you a way of uh, adding a little different type of a hinge to your foam wings. You can see I've done this pink foam on a different one of my videos, how to do them. I've cut the uh, aileron. Now you can see that it's ready to be separated out. Once I've removed the aileron, I'm going to go ahead and uh, add a different type of a hinge to that. And uh, what we're going to do is if you go down to your local hardware store, and you've got some of this nylon string. Now, nylon works a lot better than the cotton because of its longevity in these hinges. What we're going to do is we're going to take this, a small amount of that uh, string, and we're going to take some super glue to it. We're going to drizzle that right down that string. Now over time, as I do this, it takes quite a while for this stuff to cure, doing it this way. But we're trying to make a piece of string very, very rigid. And if it's not straight, don't do it. Okay, so stick with the straight material. Make sure that you've got it to where it's completely saturated. And over time that's going to cure. And it's going to make it extremely hard. Now, here's a sample of the string after I've got it solid. You can see how solid that is. You compare that to the string beforehand and how flexible it is. The whole idea is to be able to get that so rigid that we can stick it down inside there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plan where my hinges are at and I'm going to bore a hole. Now you can bore it. Uh, you'll notice that this one here will go right straight in. I can force that right down inside, but I'd prefer having myself a hole pre-bored for it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue inside that. Now I usually like to put hot glue in them instead of uh, the CA glue because of the reaction. Some types of foam will actually be eaten by the CA glue and the CA glue doesn't really permeate inside it and yet the hot glue will actually, and, and it sounds kind of funny, but you're going to heat it up to where it melts very slightly the foam producing a bit of a cavity inside there. You just shoot the hot glue in and I'll show you that a little bit later. Put the, uh, the uh, material inside it and then once you've got it done like that and it doesn't work very well outside of the wing but once the wing's in there you're going to break that and you're going to cause it to be considerably more flexible. You can see as I work that back and forth the flexibility all of a sudden comes back into the section where you've worked it. And it takes a bit of work to do this. All right, now once the uh, string is solidified, you can take those pieces of string, the small ones, take yourself a pair of pliers, cut them into small lengths, a pair of dikes. You don't want too much length on these light little guys, but you uh, do have to have them. That's probably an inch and a quarter long, roughly. Now, I'm going to take myself, as I'm looking at my wing, I can go ahead and judge where my hinge needs to go. You can see I've marked the one, I'm now marking the other. Now, I'm just, I could use a drill bit on this, I'm just using a small screwdriver as I rotate it back in there. You see, I've now got it straight. But as I put that hinge down in there now, I'm going to do the same thing with it. And it's solid, so that I can do the same thing. I'm going to do a dry fit here. Make sure that I've got enough distance down inside it. Put your thumbnail. Okay, so I'm about half the length of that piece down inside it. Now, once I've got it down there, and I know it's going to work, I'm going to do some preliminary breakage on that thing. Now, once I've got that, I've got my hot glue, and there again, you don't want to get it too terribly hot, but you do want to have it hot enough that it's going to flow. Too too hot, and it'll, it'll actually melt. And you don't want to melt it, so I'm going to put a very small dab of the hot glue down inside there, and it will actually be drawn in at the same time. It's going on down inside, and I want to clean off the excess hot glue on the outside so it doesn't interfere with the hinge action. Ta 
doesn't take long at all for that to set and that one's permanent and it'll give me some flex that I need you can put two or three of these on these little park flyers they don't need that's not going to come out of there that's going to be perfectly solid this is a one-time shot you don't get I mean once you've got them on there they're on there permanent you'll have to build another wing before you'll be able to of course you could slice them off and move another one in there if you had to repair put some right next to it but uh, that'll give you the flex that you need on that one right there so I'll go ahead and take care of the other one as well there you know one is basically on the outside That one's one inch. Do the same thing here. Put it one inch. Now you got to be kind of cautious on these things because when these guys get a little bit further out, they're a lot, a lot more sensitive. Now I've also not sanded out and put the remains of my wing on the outside, but we'll do that a little bit later. Mark my hole. Get it back inside there. Already got my hole marked here. Get it back down inside there. I've already got my outer one done. Prepare my next one. Shorten that one up a little bit more. Now when you start putting these other ones in, you've got to have the holes in the wing itself just a little bit more augered out. You saw me move it side to side so that they can get a little bit better in there and the reason for this is because you've got to force that in relatively straight it's, it's you don't you don't have the luxury of being able to twist that section of string like we had a second ago. and there again this one has to be done real quick because your glue is going to harden up very, very rapidly. Hold that in place. Make sure you've got the flex that you need. As it cools, it's going to... Now on this one, i got a little bit of glue left down inside here. Let me go ahead and pull it out. It's not going to affect it. And there we have it. And you notice it's got enough flex that it's just quite easy to flex. And again, you could do it with three along here, but I'm not convinced I'd do it with three because if I did it with three, and I've not done it with three, I've just always done it with the two with, with perfectly good success. But if I do it with three, it's a lot harder to get them lined up before that glue sets. And now I'm, I'm done. I've got a little bit of flex side to side, but not much. And now I'm ready to and go ahead and assemble it for the other wing and get them ready to go. Different way of, of doing hinges on your foam wings.